Okay, so today we're going to be looking into finding the angle sum of irregular polygons and then using the angle sum to help us find a missing angle within that polygon. So first thing is finding the angle sum and remember we can use the formula S is equal to 180 times N minus 2. And remember, the N stands for the number of sides. So looking at our polygon, it has one, two, three, four, five different sides. So now we can go back to our formula and substitute in the five for the N. So now simplifying, S is equal to 180 times 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 and 3 times 180 is equal to 540 degrees. So the angle sum for our pentagon is 540 degrees. So now that we know what our angle sum is we do want to find out what is the measure of our missing angle. In order to do this, we first have to determine what is the measure of the angles that we already have. So in order to find this out, we need to add them all together. So we have 118 plus 75 plus 130 plus 105. Going down, we have 5 plus 5, which is 10, plus 8 gives us 18. Bring down the 8, carry up the 1. 7 and 3 is 10, 11, 12. Carry up the 1. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So all four of the angles we have over here, 1, 2, 3, and 4, equal up to 428 degrees. So in order to find the missing angle, we need to take our angle sum, which is 540, and subtract away the total of all the angles we have so far. So 540 minus 428 is equal to 112 degrees. Just to make sure and double check, we can take our angle sum from before, which would be one, two, three, four original angles, and we can add that now to the angle measure of our missing angle, which was 112. And when we do this, it should add up to the angle sum of the pentagon, which is 540 degrees. So double checking it, eight plus two is 10, we can carry the one. Two plus one is three, plus one is four, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So it does leave us with 540, which is our angle sum. So we know that the correct angle measurement for x is 112 degrees. So now looking at our second example, we want to once again start off with our formula for angle sum, which is s is equal to 180 times n minus 2, where n represents the number of sides. So looking at our new polygon, we can see it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different sides. So going back to our formula, we can now substitute in 7 for the n in our formula. Now simplifying, s is equal to 180 times 7 minus 2 is 5. And then 180 times 5 is going to be equal to 900 degrees. So the sum, the angle sum of our polygon is going to be 900 degrees. Okay, so now that we know that the angle sum of our polygon is 900 degrees, we can use this information to help us find our missing angle, which in this case, once again, is x. So in order to do this, we need to find out what is the sum of all the angles we have so far. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different angles. When we add those together, we have 132 plus 
130. So noticing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When we add these together, we get 788 degrees. So now since we have the sum of all of our angles we have so far, we can use our angle sum, our total, that we know it should be 900. And we can subtract our 788 that we just determined was the sum of all the angles we have so far. When we do this, we will be left over with 112 degrees. So the measure of x, our unknown angle, will once again be 112 degrees. Note that our first two examples did both result in our missing angle being 112 degrees, but this will not always be the case. So just to double check that all of our seven different angles now add up to 900 degrees, we do the original six, which was 788 degrees. We are adding that to our 112 degrees that we just figured out. 8 plus 2, 10, carry the 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Bring down the 0, carry the 1. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9, which does, in fact, get us to our angle sum, which is 900 degrees. So we know 112 is the correct measure of our missing angle x.